So, uh, Lum Kiwano, how do how do you get to play in one of these games? Well, what you do is I'm going to go ahead and create a custom game right now. And, and the password will be Strife because that's how he rolls. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Guessing. I would have guessed it. I would have guessed it right this time. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, everybody just go ahead and enter the password since everybody knows what it is already. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's a theme to how he makes these passwords. Yes, exactly. I'm not exactly no, trying to be not predictable here. I mean, I'm, I'm totally, completely predictable here. Let's try to get some people in here that uh, haven't played in a ton of them. Oh, yeah, we can have a couple of repeats. GLG Obi. Yeah, Obi was What's here. Up? Well, I guess we're going to have a repeat. Chocobus X is back. Delectus. All right, so let's uh, balance it up here. A little better. Mm. True. Well, the the Smurfs are on separate sides this time, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strife, it's about as interesting as, oh, wait, you mean the item in DG. Yeah, exactly. We're not talking about, uh, yeah, we're not talking about some other potential game. I, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. The Strife is a game? <laughs> I didn't know that. Man, Strife is not a game, man. It's for real. You build it every it's game. Hard man. stuff, man. Exactly. You do... I don't touch that stuff. That strife, nah. So like, hey, bro. I mean, I need some. I need some strife stacks. I mean, not for me. Not for me. I just. I got a buddy, who's uh, who's running low on strife, and he he needs a little bit more. I mean, <laughs> please, come on. Hook a brother up here. I mean, he's got the shakes, man. He's got the shakes. <laughs> so that one, uh... <laughs> Strife is basically heroin. <laughs> we got Strife on stream. We got Crystal, that that pure Crystal, 100% blue from the heart of the Holy Woods. That and Strife, you know, yeah, exactly. whichever your poison is. <laughs> we are talking ward skins, people, and yes. game items. So. Yes, yes. Looks like Obi's going to random. No, he's not. He's going to pick. Uh, he's going to pick something. I. Th Think Von Golden Sun's like nope. Try hard mode engaged. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Play a jungle. <laughs> Screw you guys. Well, I know we saw Borrow's charcoal. We we saw actually a game where it was Salus Kell on both sides, and it was. Dragain's gonna pull out Lillian though. So. Yeah, there we go. There's uh, a Lillian on both sides. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm worried about I guess, this. Zary I guess pick. tonight's the Lillian is the centaur of attention. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I will show myself out. <laughs> <laughs> Garwar, everyone. Garwar. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here all week, folks. <laughs> sure to trip your waiters. Trip your waiters? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Kel in the jungle, too. All right. Yeah, so yeah. while they get this set up, I'm going to go uh, grab a drink and I'll be right back. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> I was waiting for that because Garwar had gone way too long without a pun, so. Surprised it took this long for him to get. But Rowan is a dryad. <laughs> he did. Oh god. <laughs> Our cause uh, is just. Like, let's see. Let's see if Mortal Side can uh, not use an AD carry again. Well, I mean, they got Moya, so that is that's true. But they still don't have ranged physical damage. Whereas uh, we look at well, Spirit, they got that. Look at the Mortal team. They don't have anything resembling sustained damage in the slightest. They got a Moya, but still the <laughs> yeah, are loose. yeah. But you don't need uh, you don't need sustained damage if you have a Lillian. You just delete them. Particularly with the Zalgus. <laughs> yeah, you just it's like you just delete them. It's like this Zalgus no longer needs penetration, just because Lillian's around. I mean, you can just pick anybody on the enemy team. Go ahead and throw down the invocation, and then final chapter right on top of it. Oh, it's going to be some some fools blowing up. I like that synergy much I'll better be than the Zeri uh, Lillian strategy, where that can make Lillian hit really hard. But, I mean, come on. It's final chapter. Come on. It's books. We like books. We love reading. Reading is the best. Mm -hmm. And that's the skills that you need to use final chapter. Mm -hmm. Like we were talking about a couple weeks ago. I thought you just skipped to the opponent. final page. <laughs> you, could, you could be like one of those kids when Harry Potter came out. You just read the last page and then spoiled everything for everyone. You can think about doing that. 
<laughs> uh oh, he Dragon's in a little bit of trouble here. He's surrounded by two people. Uh, here comes uh, Breno. I'm presuming he's got the chains up. Did he pick chains? No, he's... no he took nope. Burden of Knowledge. Burn of Knowledge actually is an amazing skill. Like it will, it does so much damage. Like uh, especially with for your auto attacks, and allows you to go ahead and trade really well in lane. Uh, and we see uh, we're gonna have the skins battle coming out here. So we've got. Skin war. Yep, we've got Chocobus X rocking the cleansing fire, uh, Lilin. While we have a uh, Dragain just uh, rocking the uh, you know the standard no skin. So we have the naked Lillian versus the cleansing fire Nick Lillian. Crickets, crickets, crickets. Uh, crickets. How do you, how do you guys feel about these lanes? Um. So this Lillian Zalgus lane is going to be explosive come level six. That's just how it's gonna be. Uh, Michaela Zeri, uh, not the biggest fan. Yeah. They do have a lot of poke, which is the you know the upside for that is like they can just continuously keep up this pressure onto uh, onto the Zal Zalgus low in lane. Does it, all they have to worry about is just avoiding their skill shots. Mm -hmm. The silence out of Zeri is good though as well. Yeah, it'll stop the channeling of the final chapter, you know. So you know, pr possibly prevent death. Just a little stun going down, just to tell Vecnus, hey, this is my lane, bro. Although I honestly, I would much rather see this Cogan have been the Gladiator. Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much. Well, uh, Kagan and Cerulean together could have both been gladiators. That would have been the the best way to do that. I think so too. Mm -hmm. I think it's because just... like oh, even ahead. over time, um, just having the everyone being a gladiator just makes like it just makes more of them overall. Well, right. for melees, like double melees in a lane, yeah, absolutely. Because there's no reliable way to harass and get the tactician procs, so mm -hmm. you may as well make your money off the farm. Right, and it, what's even better about that is that one of them's always going to miss it. So you end up walking away with more CS than there are creeps. Oh, you nice change. Right. Yeah, range. very nice change. They're still chained together, too. Yeah. Ugh. Might still be that bug. Scary, scary bug, though. I mean, jeesh. I would like to say, speaking of bugs, one thing I wanted to test is with the most recent patch, I wanted to see if they fixed the bug with spectator mode, where as you cycle through players, it like oh. shows you the same loadout for each player if you don't deselect, and they have fixed that. It will hot swap now. Okay. Uh, so as you you can just keep your your tooltip over the loadout thing, and then switch through all the players, and it automatically updates every time you switch a player. Which Thank is you, Waystone. Yes, that was yeah. such a pain for Best Shaper World. I'm glad that's oh, yeah. fixed. Quality of life. Yeah. So the only other thing now that I know of that's the major bug is uh, where if you're spectator slot two, sometimes it will completely silence you and you can't chat ever. Yeah, basically. Oh, oh so oh, close wait. on the fool's fire. Oh. Ooh. We're talking uh, 15 health, people. Yeah. 15. One five. Uh oh, and Vagnus is dead. Wow. Quick level five coming out from Cerulean. And that's exactly what you want to do. Uh, as a melee lane, if, if they got a kill like that, that lane is won already. That's be almost going down too. Oh, Delectus is. I mean, he is in dangerous territory right now. I don't think he should be hanging around here with a full health low in lane. I mean, yeah, you might be confident, but you know what? It doesn't take any skill to land fool's fire. Just you know, put the mouse over you hit Q, and you know, yeah, you gotta Chocobos have a bad time. Is using the. Uh... Rebuke? The knockback, like the ability that gives the knockback. Oh, there's the blank. farm and lane. Yeah. You know, play, so playing super aggressive, which you could punish him for, but because his health was so low, he couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Here comes Moya, and oh, there's the rebuke again. So basically, out of uh, Chocobo's will in here, we're gonna see. Yeah, this is actually gonna be a consecrate max. He's gonna do rebuke second just to get the wave clear going. I think, maybe. Mikella picked wrong, up though. a might. Is he? Is this really going to be the... It's going to be a strife, for sure. It might be. It might be a decay, too, because we saw it earlier. And <laughs> damn it, it might be. Michael. If it's on Gatsby, I would put more money on it being strife. But yeah. Vecna is trying to duel against Obi, and that's just not working out for him. Yeah, as soon as you have five stacks of spirit sands on you, that dust devil is just going to absolutely destroy you. So, wise plan to back off. Kagan is very, very, like... He does so much damage early on. 
is, is actually quite ridiculous. Well, it's once if you can stack up your your sands, right? Like yeah. that's <laughs> it's fabulous, and that's what you got to be worried about. It's not the walk up and hit you that you have to worry about. It's standing in a in a fight over time with him, mm -hmm. and that's what Vecnus was trying to do, and it cost him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and actually we did test this here. This the, the annoying thing about this quicksand is that he can drop that under a binding. If the enemies walk into it, it doesn't draw binding aggro at all. Okay. Wanted to make sure. Yeah, I tested that yesterday, so. Okay. Yeah, if it doesn't do damage, it shouldn't draw the binding aggro, but there have been some weird edge cases where people have been aggroed by bindings and... They were unsure of why, so it's good to test some of that stuff out sometimes, even though it should be obvious. Mm -hmm. You know, bugs happen. Right. You, that you, rebuke, man, the wave is so slow on it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you really, you're either going to use it to farm or nothing, because it's not going to catch anybody. You can literally walk away from it. <laughs> well, it's the it's just to knock back somebody who jumps on you, but the problem is... Well, but no, but that's not how it's getting used right now. Yeah. It's getting used to farm or to try to attack and harass, and it's not a, it's not a harass ability. Um, it doesn't even do a lot of like wave clear, so no. it really should just be held um, for those gank attempts. Well, I can see in the case of Dragain actually just burning it early, because what's his problem going to be? Well, somebody jumping on him, like, say, Viridian. What happens after you rebuke Viridian? He just surges again and kills you. So, yeah, oh, yeah hook comes going in. Down. Yep, and there's Vecnus, and he's going, eh, you know what, there's three of them here, I probably don't want to fight on top of them. Moya's like, hi, I've just been farming, yeah. um, but I'm going to come in and help with some damage. Mm -hmm. And uh, here comes Kelv going mutton on him, oh, here comes the Deep Rising, pulled <laughs> Trillian back into Binding Rage, the oh, the failed blink, he tried to blink over the wall, but he blinked into it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and even Delectus going, is like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> he knows he did it. He knows. But that was a good use of the CC to keep the uh, keep Cerulean under the binding just to get that ramping damage going on him. It's actually kind of scary, uh, at, even at low levels here. Let's see, what level is this binding right now? So this is level 6 binding. Uh, so per stack, it's going to do... Okay, now it's level 7. So 31 damage is what it's going to gain every time it shoots a Shaper. And it stacks up to four times, and ignores seventy percent of your armor. So I mean, yeah, bindings hurt. Yeah, there was a time when they didn't. We used to joke, you know, go ahead. Can you dive a binding? Sure. Yep. Like, what do you want to do? We just want to dive it because it's yeah. not going to do anything to you ever, and it never did. Like only at level one, if you tried to walk under it. But after that, it was nothing. Oh, good now, change in the room. Now it's a big deal. Oh, here comes oh, the. Here it goes. And, but it nice blocked block by the Zeri. Yeah. yeah. And that blocked both alts. Yep. So. That was great. But, but that's the wombo combo lane, man. Lilin and, Z and Zalgus together, that's, that's dangerous. That's scary, yeah. Particularly if the chains go off while the invocation is going off. If you chain up everybody, there's nobody walk in front of that invocation. Yeah. So, they gonna get hit. And uh-oh, going button here. There's the blink and the flip. Quicksand goes down. I don't know if Kel gets out of this. Nah, he's not. And Vecna's better back off here, because I don't think there's any way he wants anything to do with this. Kel going, he couldn't use anything. Uh, Jimber, you tell the bindings level by clicking on the binding in the top left of the portrait. It will have oh, a level. I see it. Thank you very much. Yep. I was, I was looking all throughout the stats and everything, and I'm like, I don't know what the level is, and it's right in front of my face. Yep. Yeah, it's just like the players. It's basically the same kind of indicator as a player indicator. Uh, the only thing that should be leveling up is uh, the per attack mm -hmm. ramp up that mm -hmm. comes with attacking shapers. So. Yep, four damage every level, which is four damage a minute. Which is funny because, like, uh, cores and stuff level the same way, but it's like, why? who cares if a core yeah, has power? Matter. Like, I haven't been able to figure out if, if that affects the Guardian's abilities. I mean, it might. Possibly. That would we be cool. Done. It would be, but mm -hmm. that means the longer the game goes, the, the more damage he's going to deal. Well, that, that does come to a cap around, what, 40... When is a binding done? 42, it's, yeah. It's going to be 32 minutes, yeah. Because they, they ramp up to level 40. Everything in the game levels up. Like, the minions level up, the striders level up, the parasite levels up. It evolves too, but it has a max level uh, for each of its stages. Mm -hmm. So, 
Like for example, that's how that's how everything stays relevant right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? Absolutely. The minions correct. are level eleven right now. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> Which is interesting because it's much faster than. Uh, they level up once a minute, so they they yeah. gain a level every other wave. So every other wave that comes out is a new level. Mm-hmm. Um, and that used to be important for the Striders, too, because the Striders leveled the same way. They would be behind in level um, because they came out, like, every fourth wave. So back, one of the reasons that it snowballed so much uh, in the old version of the game was that if you rushed down bindings quickly and started the Striders spawning quicker, they would level up faster than the opposing team. So even if it, lev- if it equalized out, uh, you were still behind because their Striders were still stronger. Yep. Yeah, that, that was really important level one. Oh, the change! The big hole goes by right! Oh, but he goes going to go down anyway. Titanic Charge comes down. They're going to try to pick up Moya. The binding coming in with the big assist there. Oh, the landfall to dodge the, the skill shots there. Yeah, but he's going to go down anyway. Hell, right back on top of Yeah, exactly. Gatsby looks so dead. Oh, the good blink, though. That blink of the final chapter. Oh, but here comes Dragon to the Fool's Fire that picks him up. Wow. Bad Pathic got that kill because he went to walk uh, back towards his base, and it start, it pathed him on the inside of the second binding, mm-hmm. which made him walk towards them. If he'd walked towards the far wall, he would have gotten away from that. Mm-hmm. That's Ooh, unfortunate. Man. Yeah, I'm starting to see one of the weaknesses of Lillian here. Uh, she doesn't quite have as much range uh, as... Some of the other mages, kind of like uh, she doesn't have as much range as Ari. Here's the thing: her E will her E will go a very far distance, mm-hmm. just like we see it there. Yeah, but it's slow range. too. Yeah, uh, it's it's got a travel time, right? But mm-hmm. the Q is is what's shorter. It's, mm-hmm. it's not you've got to then move up and land the Q. Um, and the the rebuke is so slow; it's never going to catch anybody at long range. So you mm-hmm. you got to keep those things in mind. She's very much of a bur- she's bursty, but it's kind of a close range burst. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is rough on somebody that doesn't have any mobility. Right. Yeah, it's, if this was like a this was like a fighting game, even though she does like ridiculous amount of damage, she'd be considered pretty balanced because I mean, come on, if you get hit by something moving that slow, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just she just does a like she does a lot of damage for that too, which is really like, I really think that's cool, because it's, you know, she's giving up all that mobility to, put, like, put out more damage. Mm-hmm. And, like, giving up a little bit more of a safer positioning for that. Mm-hmm. And not to mention, it, it, it's just everything about her is slow, really. Except yeah, for the pretty Fool's much. Fire. The Fool's Fire is the only thing that travels fast. That's it. Well, but it has a delay on it. Mm-hmm. I mean... So. Here comes the final payment, blocked by Dragane, though. Yeah, no real damage because there's no real power coming out of yep. him yet. Oh, speaking of no Emotion real power, holy crap. Yeah, jeez. Yeah. Here comes Vecnus running with the tail between his Smart legs after Moya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, quit playing, quit playing, quit playing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here comes Electus going 3v1. I mean, I don't know, man. Hey, you know, Cerulean can. He can walk between those bindings. He just zoned them out so they could uh, clear that out. Chocobus X uh, galloping back into lane. Uh, but again, no real, no real damage. Picked up an energy, which is. What? I'm not sure where that's going. Chaos. It's got to be. It's the only thing that makes sense. I hope so. Yeah. It better not go to a potency. Well, potency could make sense too. But given what else he has, he's already. He's, looks like he's already looking for a decay. Yeah. Yeah. You would want the chaos. You would want the well, decay. Like she's all about that magic shred life. And man, you put a chaos on top of that. Pff, mm-hmm. Say goodbye. Along with a zeri, like. They have so much magic shred on their team, it's ridiculous. See, what's even crazier is that the Luan's ultimate, the invocation, strips most of the magic. Because Zeri will take away the rest of it and put it into negative. Yeah, and Zeri bought a Betrayal, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because, you know, they don't have enough MR shred. They need even more. <laughs> Auto-attack okay. Zeri's tonight. I don't, I don't know, guys. Yeah, we've seen Dominance. We've I'm going seen... to see an insight on, uh, on Viridian here shortly, with the way this is going. Oh, nice little juke. Oh, bad <laughs> prediction. He whiffed on that. Uh, he predicted that Vecnus was going to keep going that way, but it doesn't matter. He's going to die anyway. He wanted to go for that uh, MLG no-scoped yellow swag kill. <laughs> so, Dragane's got the right idea here. He went super squishy 
Viridian or, or Lilin with the destruction. But as you can see, even with the rebuke, there is no wave clear coming. Like off, even with a, a destruction, excuse me, there's no wave clear with the rebuke. It does minimal damage to minions. Yeah, if he wants the wave clear, he's got to use the consecrate to do that. But the problem is that's got a that's got a longer cooldown than the. Fear so remember, fire, so. sure, it hits everything, but it's a hundred damage even with the destruction. Yeah, and that's to the closest one. It's only forty-eight to the furthest ones away. Like, please. <laughs> It's nothing. Lum Kiwano, thank you for the follow. I mean, part of that is that he, you know, isn't leveling it at all. Well, yeah. <laughs> See, but even if he does level it, it's not much, even it's, at that. Here's the invocation. Gonna be blocked by Zeri. Oh my god, there's the chains coming in, but I think Breno goes down. Anyway, no, the stasis comes in. Down goes Zeri. Breno's gonna get out of this somehow. Alive? Wait, you just walk up and hit him, Kel. Come on. Yeah, and there's gonna be Moya just burning out Gatsby there. Down he goes, and there's the parasite. Uh oh, I think Chocobos uh, is in a little bit of trouble. There. Okay, good blink over the wall. Shores calling wasn't just up for that. Well, the problem is you got to have vision to fire Shores calling, and he wouldn't have had it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, they're gonna take the parasite here. Pretty easy, easy grab. Yep, and uh, stage two, but only level five, so still pretty weak. Yep. In fact, we'll click on that so you guys can see it. Now, the other interesting note is that Parasite will not level up while it's engaged. Yeah. It's really with the Strife and the Rebirth. What? <laughs> and so Delectus can just go back and just straight up buy another Legendary tier item right now if he wanted to. Falcus rushed Supremacy with a command. Nice! Running that 16% uh, power loadout again, so just wants to do tons of damage. Make that now, two Supremacies. Oh, this is going to be that... Uh, Multiple supremacy with a wisdom and a divinity. It's going to be beautiful. There better I be a job. It. <laughs> yeah, they're better. Marcus walked out, but he's alive. 3v1 so far. Down to 40% health. Is he going to make it? I think he might. He's no, he's, rebirth. Yeah, there's his rebirth right now. He's got so much health. Here comes one. Here comes Titanic Charge. The final baby can't even get by the regen of the rebirth, and he gets out of it. Final chapter picks up Kel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh my gosh. Couldn't even out damage the rebirth. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no pain for the rebirth. Yeah. That was just. I mean, it was funny watching the rebirth ticking off, and you watch the final payment come in, and the health just didn't go anywhere. Because at this point in time, the. They've got a might, and they went retribution. What is this, guys? You don't build retribution. I just mean that in general. Like, you don't build retribution. <laughs> Definitely shouldn't be the first one. Yeah, no kidding. Come oh, on. my God, Dragon. Just, oh, there's the invocations going back and forth. Stace is coming out from Chocobo's X, but uh, you can see the difference between uh, the guy with the destruction and the guy who doesn't have the destruction as far as Lulin goes. Somebody at this point, and he yeah. gets one. Yep. Uh, but I think Chocobo's... Oh, actually, Obi's going to turn on to Vecnus instead. There's the Consecrate down. He's going to follow up with the Fool's Fire. No, probably because he sees uh, Moya over his shoulder there and going like, Yeah, you know what? I don't really want to do this. He's still in trouble. Yep. Oh, there it is! Boom. Don't. Oh, he got rampancy. Ouch. He's... Why, why did I even joke about this but the stream started? Because I joked about it. I actually said this at the beginning of the stream. Zizix can can vouch for me here. I joked about the Rampancy Strife glory build. And by God, if people aren't building it. Well, we don't have a glory out of him yet. But. Uh, yeah, but he, he'll get one. I'm sure he will. <laughs> You're putting money on it. <laughs> He's got That's a lot of health. Like yeah, he well, certainly uh, does. That's interesting when you're playing against a Lilith. Yeah, and you still have to build the health stacking. Died like a dog. But I guess he he noticed the Lilin's build, and Lilin's got to build a lot of power uh, to get that uh, percent uh, health yeah. damage. And Chocobo just isn't building the power. He hasn't built anything yet. He's got the Chaos, which we were hoping for. He's got the Might. It is fully stacked, so he can turn that into a Decay now. Mm -hmm. um, but on the other side, Dragain's Lilin just went Divinity and Destruction. Because, so. you know, why not, right? That puts the passive at 7% uh, off Fool's Fire and 14% off everything else. We're already seeing... What? This is a... Oh, it's off the is it's gonna go down, it looks like here, but Dragon barely gets out with his oh. life. And the final payment. 
And meanwhile, oh, three man on to find against Blake, but oh, good oh, waltz oh, away. And here Just comes the, the assist fire. from the Guardian. Fire. And Chocobos, here comes the invocation. I would have preferred to see that go off good first, shot. but yeah. And there's the rebirth, keeping Delectus alive. Dragon's gonna oh, go ahead and eat Oh, there's a, What was that that got him? Fool's fire. Fool's fire? Oh, I was gonna say in the. Fool's fire and the binding the shot wave. got him. He, he no, took binding aggro. Fire. Really? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Was that the binding or was that the fool's fire? That's the the binding's the one that finished him off. That's the, what the I thought. Fool's fire got him incredibly low. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and the surrender's gonna go through because nobody uh nobody, nobody can. against it. Yep. Hundred percent in favor of the surrender. So. GG. The greater good. GG. GG. Oh yeah, we can't see when you click on uh, the oh, parachute right. stuff. You can't see the numbers because that's of the right. Chat because there. yeah, that's right. I remember that now. Sorry guys. Vectus going woohoo! First time Viridian. Oh, uh, it did okay. Yeah. I mean, starting off conquest like. It's fine. I, d I don't know that you want to completely finish it, but you guys were, they were a little behind, so what was he going to do? Um, a lot of times you'll see that with aura dominance, like to hope for that RNG crit on the die. But it was more the issue that he was just level 12. Mm. It's 15. So I think the story of this game, uh, one of the big ones, is look at the CS difference. Yeah. <laughs> 168, well, 131 <laughs> versus 187. Yeah, big difference. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a little overwhelming. Well, I don't have to work tonight, so are you gentlemen up for one more? Yep, that's fun. Yeah, I can, I can do it. Spirit Side has Terra Bad Builds. Well, you know what? That's the only way they're going to... I mean, we do put in the title of the stream, Experiment. Try it out, yeah. But you got to understand, if they don't work, they're not going to work, work at all. Exactly.